Hey guys, it's Anna here, and for today's video, I have a very special guest here. This is Myla. She's my dog, and as you know from the title of the video, today we will be making some toys for her. I think she's extremely confused why I'm talking to the camera. Mm. <laughs> and she feels the need to say something as well. All right. I think the dog toys are going to be a great way to use up my scraps. That was how I got the idea originally because I was really thinking, you know, how to use those 30 centimeter, 40 centimeter pieces of cord that you can't really, I mean, they're difficult to incorporate into any bigger pieces. So I think this will be a great way to use them again. I've got a whole bunch of different cords. Now for this project, it really doesn't matter what cords, what colors, whatever, you know, it's just your choice. Um, so I won't be going through what exactly I have there. We'll jump straight into the patterns. All three toys are going to be extremely easy to make. So let's jump into it. So the first one is the easiest. I'll take a bunch of these cords that are really quite short. These are probably the shortest ones um, that I have from all of the toys. And I've got this cord as well that's jute. So obviously this is not a scrap, but I think in these cases, the jute cord will just be a really nice addition to those neutral colors. And what we're going to do is simply do a gathering knot from this jute cord that's going to run a pretty long, you know, like maybe this long of the cord. So let me show you. Okay, so we've got our bunch of cords. I really suggest that you put something here. Of course, this is just temporary to hold them together. Then you take your piece of jute or just whatever other cord that you're using. I'm going to hold it with my thumb here and then make a loop down here. And that loop needs to be as long as you want the entire gathering knot to be. So here I've got the end of my cord. So I think this maybe just to give myself a little bit more space, I can make it a little bit longer. Yeah, this will be more than enough. And here at the top with the rest of that cord, we're going to start wrapping. So just wrapping this tightly around, making sure that we have all of the cords, including these two that we've just put in, the jute itself. And we will keep wrapping. Okay, once you're at the end, this is the end of the cord you've been using to wrap it around. You will pull it through this, or just make sure that the loop is around that piece of cord, right? And then up here, you will pull on that loop and make it really, really tight. So kind of pull the rest of the cord in here. And that way it disappears. And then you can, of course, take off this you can trim the ends wherever you want and trim this piece as well. Just make sure that it's really tight. And there you have it, first toy done. I think this is kind of small for my dog, but I think for any smaller dogs, this would be really cute. So of course, you know, you could just make this bigger or don't use the jute cord, but use like an actual cord that will also make this thicker. So it will be more for the bigger boys. So for the next one, I've got two colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a really big knot at the top there. So just through a loop, make sure you've got all of the cords and then tie it at the top, the very, very top. You can pull on all these like individual cords to make sure that this knot is really nice and tight. So this next part is a little bit brutal because I've pierced the toy kind of onto my hook and I have it here on my clothing rack. So I have separated the whole thing into three strands where in each strand I have four 
of one color, four of the other color. Okay, and what I'm going to do now with each of the sections, or not each, but I will just do a simple braid. So starting on the right, then on the left, just as if you were doing your hair, making sure it's tight. And then once I think I've reached my desired length, I will do the same big knot that we had up there. I've trimmed it at the end and now I am done with my second toy. This one I think being a lot more appropriate size wise. For the last one, I'm again starting with a bunch of cords that this time I have folded in half. I'll put them on my hook like this and then I'll put the headband leaving some room because this will be kind of like my handle. So making sure that my hand can go through here. So maybe down here, I'll put the headband down. And we will again be doing some gathering knots here. So I'm taking a piece of cord and just like in that first one, I'll make a loop, which is going to finish wherever, you know, however long I want the gathering knot to be. And I will start looping this around. Once I think I'm good with the length, I'll pull the rest of the cord through the little loop, hold it down, and then this cord at the top, we're going to pull that into the gathering knot. Now we can trim both the ends and take off the headband. So we've got one at the top. I'll leave a little bit of space and then maybe here I'll do another one. The exact same gathering knot I've had here. I've done another gathering knot at the top here just to make it um, nicer to hold. Then we've got these two here. I've trimmed it and the last toy is done. Just a disclaimer guys, none of these are a master art piece, right? That was not the idea. The idea is these are some scraps that I got to reuse for a really good purpose. And now the real test is gonna come and that is, is Myla going to like them? Myla, what's up? No, it's not done yet. So the mom, Yep, I think they passed <laughs> at least that one. This is what she always does. She will just take it, lie down, and then it's hers. And she will just be happy that she has a toy. <laughs> so I think my dog toys were quite successful. And I think what I want to do, because I've got, I mean, I made just three, but I've got tons and tons more scraps all over my room. So what I think I want to do is make loads more and then I want to find a dock shelter somewhere close by, nearby, and I'll just take those toys over there and see if more dogs can have some joy out of them. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to make any of these toys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.